Namaste, everyone. Thank you for joining. Today we will enjoy a more of a, a traditional practice or a practice that you've had with me in the past uh, couple years. And it will just be um, sort of a review of everything we've done in the, the past four or five videos. It's nothing, should be nothing new. I think it's all within your, your reach. So let's enjoy. Come to a nice seated position. Close the eyes. Let's begin to center ourselves, quieting the thoughts, coming into a non-judgmental observation of how we're physically feeling. And once we're feeling comfortable there, whether we're using props or, or sitting quietly, let's bring our focus to our mind thoughts and emotions running through the mind. Again, observe with no judgment. And let's cultivate that the discipline of just letting go and being present right here in this very moment with each breath we take. It takes years to cultivate that, that type of focus. So be patient with yourself and enjoy the process. Inhale, hands to heart center. Sharing Omkar chanting one time. Take a breath in. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Paying homage to the gurus that have come before us. Om Hrim Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Om Shanti 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 Exhale, release. Come to the top of your mat, Tadasana. Take your time. <clears throat> You're at the top of your mat. I'm just facing you so that you have a better angle today. Close the eyes. Review your position once more. Let yourself come to a place of contentment in this really beautiful position. Open your eyes. Let's begin. Open the palms. Inhale, arms up. And exhale down. Continue. Just going through a warm-up that we've done before in the other videos. Let's all meet back into Dasana, hands down by our sides, bringing the head into position, moving it up and down. Let's begin. Open hands, inhale up, pass through neutral, look up, exhale, release, pass through neutral, chin to the chest. Again, inhale up, exhale down, this time looking to the right. Inhale up, pass through neutral, look to the right. Exhale, release, pass through neutral, look down. To the left side, inhale up, look to the left. Exhale, release, pass through neutral, chin down. Right side, inhale. Exhale. Left side, inhale up, look left. Exhale, release, pass through neutral and down. This time look up, inhale, looking up. 
Exhale down. Side bends, right hand stays where it is. Open up the left, inhale up. At the top, exhale, drop shoulder. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale to the right. Just silently go through all the different alignment cues that I normally give. And then let it go and just hold the position. <clears throat> We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one. Stay right here. Open up the right palm. Let's bring the right arm to meet the left. Inhale, raise the right hand, perhaps palm to palm. In this position, inhale again. Rise up. Center yourself. Exhale, release the hands down. <clears throat> Repeating on the left side, the left palm stays down. Open up the right. Inhale, arm up. At the top, exhale, drop the shoulder. Inhale, grow tall, center yourself. Exhale, find this beautiful bend. Again, simply go through your alignment cues, then your breath cues. Hold here. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open up the right palm, in helping the right arm up, palm to palm. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Both palms open up. Inhale, up at the top, hands together. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Inhale, grow tall. Integrity of the lower body. Exhale to the right. Holding for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming out. Inhale, let's rise up. Exhale, release the hands down to the sides. Take this time to center yourself once more. Ensuring the integrity of the lower body. Inhale, arms up. At the top, release the shoulders. Lengthen through the spine. Keep the ribcage in. Take a breath in. And exhale to the left. Holding here, soft breath, eight, seven, try not to fidget, six, five, four, Three, two, 
and one. Coming out slowly, inhale, let's rise to center. Exhale, stay here, drop the shoulders once more. Coming up onto our toes, inhale, rise up. Ooh. Focal point, which I did not do. This is why I lost my balance. Let's stay here. Four. Three. Two, one. Coming out, take a breath in. And exhale, release. Hands, heels. We're back into Dasana. Hold here, close your eyes. Getting ready for some salutations. Open your eyes, let's begin. Open the palms, inhale, arms up. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Hold here. Remember, it's the first one of the day. Not really concerned with your head touching your knees or your shins. I'm concerned more with just finding that feeling of contentment here, wherever you are, whether your knees are bent. Let's shrug those shoulders behind us towards the spine. Drop the head so we can totally relax from the crown to the base of the spine. Hips are over the heels. Coming into a right lunge. Inhale, right lunge, hold. Stay here, take a breath in, and as you exhale, downward facing dog. Hold, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, hold. Go through your cues. Change your breath to the rib breath. As we come into downward facing dog once more, if it's within your practice, let's pass through plank first and then come into downward facing dog. So inhale to plank and exhale to downward facing dog. Let's hold here. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Right side, inhale, lunge, hold. While we're going through this warm-up, you can fidget a little bit as you find 
the alignment for you today, whether you have a nice right angle between ankle, knee, and knee to hip, allowing that left hip flexor to open up nicely. Remember, don't forget that you still have an active left foot. For some of you, depending on your flexibility, your knee may be in front of your ankle. That's fine as long as we don't sacrifice the squareness of our hips. Moving on, inhale, step forward, and exhale, forward fold, hold. Notice how already the second forward fold feels so much more comfortable than the first one we did. I'm warming up just as you are. We'll see a difference between this first round of sun salutation and the last in terms of your comfort level and the fluidity in your movements and the stillness of your breath. Inhale, rise up to a back bend. Rise up any way you like, back bend. Exhale, return, release hands to your sides. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left lunge. Hold. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, downward facing dog. Hold, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, hold. Switch the focus of your breath. If you can, let's pass through plank and into downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. And hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, right foot forward for lunge. Hold. Now some of you, you can quite easily put your palms on the floor on either side of the right foot and still maintain a beautiful line from the crown to the shoulder to the hip. For others like me, my hips are not that open. If I want to maintain that nice line where my chest is open, I'm shining my heart, my hands do not touch the floor. You may want to have a block there, or you can hold it like this. Moving on, inhale, step the left foot forward, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, back bend. Exhale, return, release. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left lunge. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold, inhale. Exhale, knee, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, hold. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, left lunge, hold. Inhale, step forward, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, back bend. Exhale, return. Right side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay inhale. Exhale, knees, trust chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold five. Four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, right lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, return. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, return. Hold here. Darn, it's always in the fourth round where I forget if I've gone left and right. So I'm sorry about that. So we're going to start on the right side and begin. Okay, let's start. Inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, right lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, return. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, left lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, return. Right side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, right lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, return. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Inhale, left lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, return. Right side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. 
Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, right lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, back bend. Exhale, return. Left side, inhale up. Exhale, heart. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold here for five. It's our last one. Four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, left lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, back bend. And exhale, release. Hold here, close the eyes. Slow the breath. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, release down, open the eyes. Let's come to the middle of the mat. So some salutations are great. We get the right side, the left side, opening up the hips, front and back bends, but we didn't really do any spinal twists. So let's come into a beautiful triangle. Open up your stance. This will be your right side, so left foot is parallel or slightly turned in. Open up the right toes, open them towards the short side of the mat, square the hips. Inhale, arms up on the line, look at the right hand. Keep your knees safe, how? Lift the arch, external rotation. Let's continue, take a breath in. As you exhale, shift the weight. Now, as you shift the weight, let's try and keep our body as if you're in between two pieces of glass. So we're not letting the body come forward or back. Turn the palms forward. Take a breath in. As you exhale, keeping in between those two pieces of glass, protecting your knees, let's come slowly into our triangle. And it's interesting because one side may have a little more fluidity than the other depending on your back. Now you can see right here, I have a little bit of a curve on my lower uh, side, the right side. So I wanna lengthen the back here instead of just crumbling. Even though I'm not coming down as far, I'm maintaining a nice long back. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Safely coming out. Bend that front knee, inhale, come up to a nice warrior two. Gaze is forward towards the right hand. Let's switch to the other side, inhale, arms up, swivel on your feet, set up, exhale, hands are down on the line. Look at the left palm, take a breath in, exhale, switch 
and shift the weight. Protect the knee. Stay within the, those two panes of glass. Turn the palms forward, take a breath in. And as you exhale, let's slowly come down into our triangle. Take your time. I take a couple breaths, and even then, once I'm in the position, I do a little bit of observation, minute adjustments. For me, spinal twists are rather challenging, so I have to give time for the muscles around the joint in each vertebrae to sort of calm down. And allow the lengthening and release of tension to occur. You can see for me, one side is less challenging than the other. And that all has to do with just muscle tension. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Safely coming out, bend that front knee first, and then inhale, rise up. Warrior two, left side, gazes towards the left hand. Coming out to a front straddle, inhale, arms up. Curl the feet in. Exhale. Come down. Nice forward fold. And hold. If you like, if you think that you're getting close to bringing your head to the mat, go ahead, widen your stance a little bit. But make sure your feet are still parallel or pigeon-toed. And gently bring the head down. As you do this, you'll find that your hips are nicely aligned over your ankles. Toes and fingers are in line. Shrug those shoulders back towards the midline, the spine, and just enjoy. For eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift the head, lengthen the back. You can use your elbows or your hands to give you a little more stability as we toe heel, toe heel, the feet closer together until you are in a stance where you're comfortable to come down into a low squat. Once you're there, go ahead, low squat, hands in front, round the back, tuck the chin. In control, let's bring the buttocks down, raise the feet. For a Navasana, boat pose. Gently come down, raise the feet. You can keep your, your knees bent. This is a beautiful boat right here. Shine the heart, or you can extend. Keep shining the heart. Eight, seven, six, five, Four. Started to get a Charlie horse in my right thigh, so I'm just lowering the right leg a little bit and bending the knee at the left. So you can play with this. Still hold the pose, but just play with it. Two, one, release. Let's come into Dandasana. Hands by the hips, fingers pointing forward. Shrug the shoulders back.
exhale, release. Let's come onto your mat. Just need to check my computer for a second. You come onto your mat. In a spinal position. Spinal twist before we go on to some nice lengthening positions for our hamstrings. So let's extend the arms out to the side, palms up. Let's start to activate the lower body by soft flexion in the ankles, slight lifting of the arch, which causes the knee to rotate out just as much as needed so that your knees are pointing up and your hip points are squared off to one another and also pointing towards the sky. Bending the right knee so that we can place the right foot next to the left leg. Take a breath in, exhale. Contract, tilt, and bend the right knee. Right foot is beside the right leg, perhaps right in the middle by the knee. This is spinal twist to the left. Take a breath in. As you exhale, you roll over on the left hip. You look to the right. To the best of my ability, I'm keeping the left leg passive and yet with a nice lengthening of the leg. I know that sounds strange. My left leg is still extended, slight flexion in the ankle. The knee is soft, but not bent. Meanwhile, the right knee has not changed. It has the same angle as we started. Perhaps your right foot is touching the mat in front of the left leg, or perhaps it's resting on your left leg. No big deal. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. two, and one. Let's come out, take a breath in, exhale, contract, feel the tilt and roll over. Right foot again, it's next to the left leg. Hip points are still pointing up, nice and squared off. As you exhale, release the right leg, extend it down the mat. It is now your extended leg. Bending the left knee, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, float that left knee up. Left foot is in position, right leg is nicely extended. Take a breath in. As you exhale, roll over the right hip, looking to the left. And hold. Remember, in every position we hold, we're cultivating that stillness of the mind, which is going to allow the body to relax. And just unconsciously, that is going to help you deepen the pose. You don't really have to do anything except quiet the mind. How do we quiet the mind? When thoughts or whizzing through the brain, or we're feeling different emotions, we simply bring our focus to our breath and let that have 100% of our attention with every breath we take in and out. That will be the signal or the message to the central nervous system to simply calm down. And then you just have this beautiful positive feedback loop. The more you calm down, the deeper the breath. The deeper the breath, the more you calm down. And soon, you realize that there are no more distracting thoughts. And you have deepened the pose. Three, two, 
One, coming out, take a breath in, exhale, contract, feel the tilt and roll over. Exhale, release the leg down. Knees to chest, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, float both knees up towards the chest. Inhale, bring the hands to the knees. Exhale, knees to chest, relax the shoulders down. So if you did feel a little bit of discomfort in one of the spinal twists that we just did, this is a beautiful counter pose to balance out, once again, the right and the left side, not only of your hips, but of the back and the shoulders and neck. On your next exhale, roll up to Dandasana, arms extended overhead. Take a breath in and exhale, roll forward. Dandasana, exhale, release. Go ahead and get some props or about as we do some beautiful uh, stretches for the hamstring. We'll hold these stretches a little longer like we've done in the past. So let's come into position. You have your block or your cushion next to you, sitting up nice and straight, really feeling those seat bones underneath you. Remember, if you're sitting back, there's no way you're going to do a forward bend. So if you need to put a little block or a cushion underneath your butt so that you have this nice angle here between hip and torso, hip, knee, and ankle, that's fine. Let's hold each position as we go down for one minute, shall we? Janusur Sasana, left leg stays where it is. Right knee, take a breath in. As you exhale, bend it, sit up straight. Take another breath in. As you exhale, open the right knee to the side and bring the right inside or bottom of your foot towards your left thigh. Looks like this. Now, if you're having some discomfort in the knee, you can put a block underneath this knee. If there's discomfort underneath the ankle, you can put a little towel. You can also open up the left leg a little bit or bring the right foot a little further down the left leg to relieve any pressure you have in the joints here. Alrighty? So now that we're all set up, we're only going to come down 50%. So take a breath in. As you exhale, release down. Hands are on either side of the knee. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Hold, try your best not to fidget. And let's stay here. And let's come down 50% more. Hold.
And if you would like, go ahead and come down all the way, whatever is for you today, to come into this position. Now, personally, I can feel a lot of tension in both my knees, so I'm just going to stay here for another 60 seconds rather than going any further down and see if I can quiet my thoughts and emotions and just deepen the pose with my breath. So you choose what is good for you today. You don't always have to choose the physical challenge. You might want to choose more the mind challenge and see, can I stay here and quiet my thoughts? And let's come up to the original 50% for one more minute, 60 seconds here. Gently coming back out, lift the head, lengthen the back, place your hands on the mat for support, and then inhale. Come up. That's your starting point. Now, you may have noticed if you're looking at your computer that I actually changed the position of my right leg. My right knee was just feeling too wonky that no matter how I opened and put my knee to the outside, it, it, it was just there was discomfort, and I knew that I was actually hurting the joint. So another modification you can do is to put the right foot by your right hip and the knee is pointing forward. All right, let's switch sides. Again, find the position that works for you. Hands are on either side of the knee. Roll the shoulders up and back. Take a breath in and as you exhale, let's come down halfway. Hold, 60 seconds here. And let's come down another 50%. Hold for 60 seconds.
And again, if you'd like to come down to the full expression today for 60 seconds or stay where you are. Gently inhale, come back to that original 50% position. And let's come out, lift the head, lengthen the back, support your body with your hands. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release. Take your prop to the side. Extend the left leg. Shake it out a little bit. Go ahead, come to a seated position, facing forward. Okay, two points I'd like to make. When, when you're doing your home practice, or even as you're observing uh, what was just going on with your body. Sometimes when we're feeling tension in our forward folds and we're feeling tension in our knee, it could be, yes, that the hamstring is simply tight right here, behind here. But sometimes it's an indication that your hips are tight. Because remember, there is a connection between lifting the arch, which causes slight rotation in the knee, which causes a slight opening here in the hips. And when there's a little bit of tension in the hips, that knee is not going to open properly, which means there's going to be tension here in the hamstring all the way down to your foot. So before we do a forward fold, we like to do a little hip openers. And we did those in the traditional sun salutation. We did it when we did the standing forward straddle. And again, we opened up the hips when we came down into a low squat. Now, for some of you, that may be enough. And your hips, that's all they need to do, and you're going to be fine. For others like me, I could feel that my hips were still tight. So in the future, if it was my own practice, I probably would spend a little bit more time opening up my hips before I did a forward fold. Uh, yeah, I guess there's only one point I wanted to make. So just think about that for your own body, that sometimes it's not that your knees, uh, that your knees are indications that your hips are feeling a little tight. All right, let's come into Savasana. Take your time. Find the position where, where you can be nicely relaxed. 
feeling the weight of the heels, calves, thighs, buttocks, allowing the feet to roll to the outside. And then as you take a few breaths, allow the belly to relax, which is going to let the lumbar spine relax to what is normal for you. As you deepen the breath, you'll become aware of the back of the rib cage against the mat. As you find that awareness, you'll also feel relaxation through the top of the shoulders, the round outside part of your shoulder is gently resting on the mat. Well, in the back, not the front. And then as you take a final exhale in preparation, you'll feel the weight of the head against the mat. And let's stay here. And as always, if you can stay in your savasana a little bit longer, that's beautiful. But if there's some time constraints and it's time to come out, first observe your breath without judgment. Without judgment, observe the stillness of the mind. Stay here with your practice right to our last ohm. And let's begin to move toes and fingers ankles and wrists, knees and elbows, shoulders and hips. Allow the spine to move from side to side with the head. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and roll to your side. And then take your breath in, and as you exhale, let's push up. Find a nice, nice comfortable seated position.
I know I've said it before, but I think it bears repeating, uh, mostly because I need the reminder. I actually do not enjoy Savasana. It's my least favorite pose. Uh, it's very hard for me to totally relax the skeletal system. But it is so important to, find, to, to finish your practice with Savasana, and this is the reason. For the last hour, you've had positive and negative disturbances, activis, activation, stimulation of your total body system. Every anatomical system has been touched, but also here mentally and emotionally, there's been highs and lows, periods of quietness, periods of stimulation, correct? When we come into Savasana, we give a chance for the central nervous system to come back into balance and into a quiet state. If we keep our central nervous system in a condition of stimulation and activation all the time, that's really wearing on your adrenal glands. It's very wearing on the, the um, blood pressure, circulation, heart, digestion, metabolism, everything. The whole endocrine system gets disturbed when your central nervous system is always in a state of activation. So even though we did our best to have a nice, quiet, calm practice, um, for everyone, there are periods of ups and downs in terms of stimulation. So we want to take at least two minutes. Um, you know, Traditionally, it's like 20 minutes, but we don't always have time in our modern life to take 20 minutes off. So just a, just a little uh, words of encouragement to enjoy your savasana. So we're in a nice seated position. Inhale, hands to heart center. Sharing Om Kar Chant one time. Take a breath in. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Exhale, bind down to the teacher within. And inhale, come back up. Open your eyes. Full awareness. Namaste. Thank you once again for joining. Have a great day. Bye.